everybody, so in this video I'm gonna show you how to download and install complementary shaders for Minecraft Java. So let's get started. The first thing you'll do is go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you need them. Here all you'll do is go to your search bar and search up mod rent like so. Here you'll find modern.com, just go to modern and then you'll be on the modern homepage. Now all you want to do is go on the top of the website to discover content and you want to go down to shaders. Now all you want to do is find complementary shaders, not just two of them. Now there is complementary shaders reimagined and complementary shaders unbound. There's two of them here you can choose from. We'll get both of them. So to get started you'll find complementary shaders reimagined here. As these are quite popular, they're quite high. If they, if they don't show up for some reason, just go ahead and search them up, but they should be somewhere here. But just click on the name once you see them. And here, all you want to do is go to versions. And from there, you'll find one latest one with a bunch of versions. Most of them are just for most versions anyway. So you just need to go ahead and find the latest one here, if it's a release, and just do the green download button. And you now have complementary shaders reimagined. But there is also the other one. So we can go ahead and go back to shaders as well. So this is this page here. And for Unbound, you just do the same thing. You click the name. Then you have the same page here. Just of the different shader. You just go to versions. And you just select the one with the most versions here. And click the green download button. And you, we now have complementary shaders Unbound and Reimagined. So here, all you want to do is simply go ahead and go to a new tab and you want to find something that runs shaders. And that thing is Iris Shaders. Just enter and this will be Iris Shaders or Dev here. Just click on Iris Shaders and from there you'll be on the Iris Shaders homepage. Now just go to the Download Now button and now all you want to do is do Download Universal Jar. And as this is a .jar file here, you might need to get yourself Java for Windows if you can't run it. So you just want to go ahead and go to a new tab and you want to go to your search bar and search up JDK24. Here you'll find that we have a website called overcall.com, Java Downloads, click that. And here, just do accept all, I will have this website in the description. But basically, here you'll find JDK24, here you'll find Windows, click Windows if you have Windows. And just uh, click the x 4 installer, download and install and then you'll be able to go ahead and run jar files. So yeah, that is something that you can do if you want. Okay, so now that you have everything, just close or minimize your web browser and now go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. And now all you want to do is find iOS installer, double click it, and from there you want to select what game version you want to play. I'm going to play the latest one they have, so 1.21.5, and here I'll just do install. Okay. And from there, all you want to do is simply go ahead and close the installer and then you can open up the Minecraft Launcher. And with the Minecraft Launcher, we will be able to add the two shaders, so Unbound and Reimagined, to the shader packs for them. So here, all you want to do is find that you have iOS and Sodium. If you have this, it means you have shader packs. And that means you can go ahead and go to Installations. Here, all you want to do is just go to the iOS and Sodium installation and go to the folder icon. Now all you want to do is find shader packs, which is right here, the shader packs folder, and you want to double click it. From there, all you want to do is go to downloads, you want to select the two shaders and copy them. Now you want to go to the top left arrow to go back to your PS folder and click paste. And you now have complementary shaders unbound and reimagined in the shader packs folder. So once you have this layout here, you can just go ahead and go to your Minecraft launcher here and you can go to play, make sure Iris and Sodium is selected and click play. Here you might just want to do Iris and the Bits and click play again. You don't need both shaders, I just downloaded both of them because you might want one or the other. I'm just showing you how both of them works, but you can just have only one of them if you want. Okay. So once we have Minecraft here, you want to go to a single player world, a server or a realm. I'll just go to a single player world and this is how we activate shaders. So basically here we don't have any shaders and to activate shaders all you want to do is go ahead and go to escape options. You want to go to video settings, then you want to go to shader packs and here you'll find your shader or shaders. 
So for example, if you want to reimagine, just click this and click apply and then it will just apply the shader. So for example, let's just wait for that to apply itself. There you go. And we now have the complementary shaders reimagined applied which is really cool so yeah that is the first shader and the second shader we can go ahead and go to the same thing here to unbound and just do apply again and the same thing will happen but with the other shader style so let's just wait for that okay there you go and that is unbound so yeah that is the two shaders that you can get with complementary shaders so yeah that is how we get complementary shaders for Minecraft Java. So if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.